Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll have our lesson number five in the series of ten on the topic of linear equations. The fifth video in the series of ten, and today is our lesson number one hundred and fifty-two. Let's see what we have for today. We are told that 4m over 3 minus 2m over 4 equals 5 over 2 equals 5 over 2. Let's see what we can do. Again, we learned yesterday that when we have denominators at the bottom, find the least common multiplier, find the smallest number that you can think of that is evenly divisible by 3, 4 and 2. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 we can divide by 4, 12 we can divide by 3, 12 we can divide by 2. 12 is the smallest number. So we can, we can multiply this entire equation by 12 and see what happens. Multiply the first term by 12, multiply this term by 12, multiply this side by 12. Every single term on both sides of the equation has to be multiplied by the same number otherwise the equation will no longer be balanced. The equation will no longer be balanced is another way of saying the equation will no longer be the same equation as the one that is given to us if we do not if we do not multiply every single term on both sides of the equation by the same number. So that's it we're done. We have 12 on the top, we have 3 on the bottom, we can use the 12 that we inserted on the top that was the whole point to use this to, to utilize this thing divide top and bottom by 3 and this becomes 4. So here you end up with 4 times 4, 4 times 4m and here we can use this 12 to, to divide the 4 into 3 times and we can end up with 3, 2m times 3, 2m times 3 and here we can use this 12 to get rid of this 2, divide top and bottom by 2 and become 6 so we can end up 5 times 6 which is 30. That's it, we're done. 16m minus 6m equals 30, that tells us that 3m equals 30, which tells us that m is equal to 3. Very simple, very straightforward. Now what do we do at the end? We verify, we verify our answer. It only takes a few seconds. It only takes a few seconds to verify it. Always make a habit of doing so. So we've given 4 times m, 4 times m which is 3. I shouldn't say that which is, I shouldn't say that which is 3 which we claim to be 3, we'll find out if it works or not, we're claiming it as 3. So 4 times m, 4 times 3 over 3, minus, minus 2 times m, which we're claiming to be 3, over 4, we're claiming is equal to 5 over 2. Let's see what it is equal to. Well, 3 is going to cancel right out, and we'll end up with 4 minus, and this 2 is going to cancel out with this 2, giving us, uh, this 2 is going to cancel out with that 4, giving us a 2. So 4 minus 3, 3 halves, 4 minus 3 halves, well 4, this 4 here, this can be written as 8 halves, 8 halves the 4, 8 halves minus 3 halves, 8 halves minus 3 halves equals 5, 5 halves. If you have 8 halves, you take away 3 halves, we are left with 5 halves, it works. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This one you do it yourself first, pause the video, do it yourself first, once you have the answer, then you and I will do it together. Do you understand? Here's the problem. We are told that x over 2 plus x over 3 plus x over 4 plus x over 5 equals 15 and 2 fifths. 15 and 2 fifths. I insist that you pause the video and that you do it yourself and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay? All right. First thing first, first thing first, we have to first We have to first find the least common multiplier, I believe that's what it's called, I'm not sure about it, the smallest number that we can find that is divisible by both 
and that is divisible by 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, three, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's do it here. This is how we do it. 2, 3, 4, and 5. We can divide, we have to be able to divide at least two of these numbers by what we put here. And of course, we are, what we are putting here are prime factors. Prime, prime factors. 2 is the first prime number, and 2, of course, would work because 2 can, we can divide here. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and this 3 would remain 3, and this becomes 2, and this. That's it, we are done. 3 is a prime number, 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, we are done. So it's 5 times 2, which is 10, and 2 times 3 is 6, which means the smallest number. The smallest number that is the multiple of all of these number 2, 3, 4, 5 is 2 times 3, 2 times 3, which is 6 times 2 times 5, which is 10, is 60. So we're going to multiply this entire equation by 60. We're going to multiply this entire equation by 60. I'm going to do it here. So we take the first term, x over 2 times 60, that's, that's done, plus x over 3 times 60, that one is done. It's not 30, it's 3, plus x over 4 times 60, plus x over 5 times 60. And all of that has to equal that. And since we multiplied, since we multiplied all of this by 60, we need to multiply that, that quantity by 60. Okay, don't freak out. Just stay with me in this story. No need to freak out yet. No need to worry about anything. Let's see what we have here. I'm not sure if I should do the same color or different color. If you divide top and bottom by 2, this x, this 60 will become 30. Divide by 3, this will become 20. Divide by, divide by 4, this will become 15. And divide by 5, and this will become 12. So far, so good. And now we're going to add up all of our x's. So we have 30x, we have, we have 30x, we have 20x. There's no need to write, keep writing x's. Silly. As a matter of fact, I don't have to do anything. 30 plus 20 is 50. I'm not going to babysit you. 30 plus 20 is 50. 50 plus 15. 50 plus 15 is 60. 65. 65 plus 12. 65 plus 12. 65 plus 12. 65 plus 10 is 75. So it's going to be 77. So it's 77x has to equal this quantity right here. 15 and 2 fifths times 60. How can we write 15 and 2 fifths? How can we write 15 and 2 fifths? I think I, I made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. 15 times 5, 15 times 5 is 75, 75 plus 2 is 15 plus 5 is 75, 75 plus 2 is 77. Oh, what do you know? 77 times 6. Oh, there you go, we are done. That wasn't so bad after all. That's it. Now, Divide both sides of the equation by 77. If you divide both sides of the equation by 77, this 77 is going to drop out. And x equals 60 over 5, which we could have done it right there. Which we could have done it right there. I could have crossed out this 5 and 60 and make it 12, but I didn't want to freak you out. So we do it here. So we're left with 60 over 5, which is 12. What do we do at this point? Oh, we need to verify our answer. Of course, we must always verify our answer. Where can we verify? We need a lot of room to verif for verification. We're going to do the verification right here. I'm going to, I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase this step, and we'll do the verification. Just give me one second. X we are claiming is 12. So let's do the verification right here. x we're claiming is 12, so it's 12 over 2 plus 12 over 3 plus 12 over 4 plus 12 over 5. 12 over 2 is 6, 12 over 3 is 4, 12 over 4 is 3, and 12 over 5, 12 over 5 is going to be 2 and 2 fifth. Because 12 over 5 is same as this 12 over 5, this 12 over 5 of course is same as is same as 10 fifth plus 2 fifth and 10 fifth, 10 fifth is 2 and 2 fifth. We are done. We are done. 4, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 
13, 13 plus 2 is 15, so we end up with 15 and 2 fifths, which is exactly what we were told in the beginning. Which means, which means our answer, I lost my cap, which means that our answer is correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.